guys, welcome back to new Ethan's, a totally new video from Ethan's. Today is a day that I'm going to do a kind of a review video because I have a new product from Ethan's and this product is a better when you do a review and also you can explain how to apply it and which one of the sort of application will you like the best. So for today's video I'm introducing and teaching you guys about the new HD high definition foundation. So yes, this is the high definition high definition foundation from Ethan's and I have the shade warm yellow which is a number C85. So all the shades of the foundations are falling into like categories so you have like warm yellows you have like a little more of a medium and a little bit of dark and also we have the light colors so we have light warm medium and dark so i fall right under the warm ones so the one that i have is warm yellow which is c85 they have in total around 11 shades, you guys, around 11 shades and this foundation is very good because it's supposed to be medium to full coverage. It is very good for people with oily and also combination skin. So if you have oily and combination skin, it's very good because it does minimize your pores, it does also minimize the fine lines that you have in your face and it's also very good for people that's always in front of camera taking pictures if you're going to take a photo shoot this foundation is super great to use with those kind of events so without further ado let me just get started with the application before i start i wanted to prime my face and this is the Ethan's tinted face primer so i'm going to prime my face because it's very very important before applying any foundation any other things on your face it's very important to prime your face to start by hydrating or start by minimizing your pores to help le let your foundation last a little more longer during the day so today i'm going to prime my face and i wanted to also show you guys the two different ways i'm going to apply the foundation on my face so on one side i will be using my oval brush so i will be using a brush on one side so you guys can see how the effect of the brush with the foundation goes so you guys can see if it is great if it doesn't leave you like streaks the lines of the hair brush the hair of the brush so this is streaky and it does not get cakey and all greasy and all that and the other side i will be applying it with a beauty blender now my beauty blender is spudery yes but it is clean because I just wash it. I have to wash it again. It's super dirty, but it's all right. I will be applying the other side of my face with a beauty blender so you guys can see the difference of a brush and a beauty blender, how they apply. So yes, without further ado, let's get started with prime and then foundation. Oops, sorry. I'm just sipping like two tips of the face primer, just smear them together and applying it right in on the areas I want my face to be prime and looking smooth and Right, my brows are already done as you can see they still have the concealer that I clean my brows with but it's okay because once you apply foundation all this is going to hide away 
so let's get started I'm going to use the brush on this side so grabbing my foundation and I'm just going to like put some tips right on here just like okay four pumps is like this just to get started and I'm going to apply it It looks like it's a little bit dark for my face, but alright. Maybe when it gets set into my pigmentation, it will transform into the correct shade. Now, I have to tell you guys, it really, really looks great with the oval brush. One thing I can definitely say about this foundation already, it has the dewy glow with it, like a super glow with it. So if your face is oily and with the glow of the foundation, maybe if you don't set your face later, like set it correctly with a setting spray, setting powder and everything later when I finish doing my makeup maybe during the day I can get like super oily because the foundation is already a little bit oily it has that dewy glow like a it looks like a natural glow and I I think this is the medium coverage as you guys can see this is the medium coverage so you can always build it up to get a full coverage so this is one side just one pass with the oval brush and it did hold my face to the whole side of this side completely and this is a medium coverage so you can always build it up on areas you want to be full covered so let's do a little bit more so we can get it to be a full coverage with the brush and then we'll switch on the other side so we can do a full coverage with Beauty Blender. Alright. This is looking great. Alright, I'm building the foundation up to a full coverage and it's looking until now I think it's a little bit too oily now when you built it up but I will keep passing the brush so we can definitely see how it will turn out to be it's getting a little bit Creasy in some areas as you guys can see right here on my face And also it's getting like a little bit clung and creasy That's what I don't want about the foundation and I think you don't want that also so Yes, maybe a beauty blender when building it up will turn out to be much better. Let's continue and we will see the final result very very soon all right it is giving it a little bit of streaky 
So building a second layer to a full coverage because now you can definitely see that I have a full coverage. Building it up, it's a bit crazy with a brush because it got a little bit streaky and creasy. So I think with a brush, it's better to do with with one time and the second time maybe you can do it with a beauty blender or you can go in with the beauty blender and just tap the areas that it did get like a little bit creasy and maybe it can help it maybe you can fix it like that wow when you tap it to the beauty blender you guys can definitely see like a big difference because the beauty blender really really like let it dry a little bit more and the whole creasy and streakiness of it of the second bill is already gone so it has that dewiness like a glow with it but that's okay because if you're looking natural is better looking natural than looking like you have a tons of makeup on all right you guys so i'm going to switch on the other side so i can show you guys how a beauty blender does the magic so going in with my beauty blender and i will be taking just three dots this time because with the beauty blender i think it is enough and we'll go in on this side with a beauty blender now with the beauty blender it's supposed to give you a full coverage immediately so let's see I will be keep tapping it so you guys can see. Let me just do around my brows, my forehead. Alright, the beauty blender is a little bit more, it's looking a little bit more wet than with the brush. With the brush, it dries like more fast because you have to keep passing the brush in the same areas so just let me be the blender also but it really really does dry faster than with a beauty blender but i have to say with the beauty blender it's looking more like matte don't you guys see it's looking like more flawless it's looking like smooth like matte and beautiful it does have the same dewy glowy natural glow with it but it's looking like more than this side this side is looking glowy and it does feel if i put my fingers on my face like this it feels like a little bit dewy does feel like a little bit wet a little bit dewy like it's a wet foundation and uh, if i put my fingers here it feels a little bit more it does have the same sticky dewy with it doing it with it but it also have like a matte finish with it so let me just keep dapping keep dapping and we will see the final result when i finish with the tapping motion let me get my forehead because i think i didn't get my forehead like better wow it's looking so much better you guys but this is looking so much better so you can definitely see a difference this is a great foundation to do a review with you can definitely see a difference you guys so on this side you guys can see glow 
so this is with a brush and this is two layer of foundation on my face the first layer was so great that you can see my skin and also it was like a medium coverage so I had to do like a second layer but on this side it's just one layer it gave me the full coverage and it's looking more flawless it's looking more smooth like a little bit matte it's not that wet like on this side this side is like you have a wet foundation on and it's looking glowy and on this side it's like you have like a medium foundation it's looking more HD-ish let me tell you guys like that it's looking more HD-ish so I'm loving the application with the beauty blender more than applying with a brush so if you guys really love this side the dewiness with the natural glow more like like a wet foundation then i recommend you use a brush and if you guys love the way this side look like more smooth like more hd and it has also a little bit glow with it then i recommend you guys use a beauty blender i really love the beauty blender side so i will be continuing using the beauty blender side for me so i will go and continue doing my makeup i will have to do other things so when i'm back i will be showing you guys the finishing result and also i will do the last part of this review and show you guys how the foundation lasted during the whole day so you guys i will be seeing you guys very very soon in the final review of the foundation bye bye Alright, you guys i'm back it's almost let me just check how late it is it's almost four o'clock it's almost four o'clock so I'm back with the final review of the foundation from Eaton so as you guys can see it really did turn out super great I really love the foundation it turned out to be very nice and it did stay a very very smooth and beautiful on the side with the beauty blender it did get a little bit crazy around the nose area get a little bit oily around the nose area but that's all right because it's not that much like my face usually used to get oil with other foundations and other products on the side with the brush it is a little bit more dewy and a little bit more oily because i did this side with a brush so that's why it's a little bit glowy than this side but this side is super beautiful it's super smooth it's super hd and good for camera and everything so as you guys can see so this is like the final review of the new Ethan's hd foundation my shade is one yellow so if you guys really love how it turned out and both sides one with beauty blender one with the brush please do let me know what you guys think down in the comments box below and remember to please subscribe to my channel to keep up with more of my videos thumb this video up and i will see you guys in my next Ethan's. bye bye Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love